First at five, a shocker on the subway. A group of people attacked by a stranger with fire. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Gilma Avalos. I'm Adam Cooperstein. Tonight, police are looking for that man you just saw holding two cans of fire on the subway platform. They say he lit the flammable liquid and then threw the cans at a group of strangers. The attack happened at the 28th Street stop in Chelsea along the one line. And police say that group was just standing on the platform when two flaming cans came flying their way. Now, thankfully, no one was hurt. But that guy who did it, he is still on the loose. And News Force Checky Beckford is live in Chelsea. And, you know, here we're looking at Checky, another random attack on the subway. Another random attack indeed, Adam. And, you know, we've seen some crazy things in the subway, but this one is right up there. Can you imagine standing down here and seeing some guy with uh, fire in his hands and then him throwing it at you? Uh, luckily, the cameras right here behind me captured it happen. Let's take a look at that video again, showing that man uh, basically walking up to the turnstiles with the two canisters of fire in his hand um, and... So this helps me understand why that son man in Tacoma killed those four people. Because why did this guy do this to these people? Just because. Right. Look at that face. Was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Just because. Mental health, right? I don't know which one would you was worse, Frank or Brokwa or this guy? Rub somebody rubbing shit on you, somebody rubbing fire. Oh, on. Man, Jeez. that's I don't know. I think the that's, fire is bad. Yeah. That's a tough one. Ugh. Put a poll, yeah. man. Let's see what the nation says. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid to say the shit. Ugh. I don't know, that's the shit. The shit might be worse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd rather get burnt. You'll be engulfed in flames. I mean, you yeah. can take... I think... You can, you can put I could try and out. stop, drop, and roll. Yeah, I could try yeah. and stop, drop, and roll. But, how you, yeah. how you, but you're the subway. How you get shit off your face? Yeah. Jesus. In a New York subway. I mean... <laughs> Jesus. You do this. You just do this. <laughs> burn it off? Burn the, the, fact shit you, the fact that it's even a discussion is a fucking shame, right? You're gonna have to throw yeah, it back at him. Yeah. That yeah. says a lot about us. We're fucked. The state of affairs. I take the fire. Yeah. Personally, uh, I'll take about my this. chances with the fire. I don't get so shit. Guys, so I'll take neither. If he burns, if yeah, I'll he take burns, the shit. I'll take the shit. Fuck it. You're gonna look at Freddy Krueger. At least I could throw the shit back at him. Exactly. You know what I mean? I'll take the shit. You're going to look like Freddy Krueger. I've, I've been, listen, I've been burned before. I never had shit rub my face. I'll take the, I'll take the, I'll take the, I'll take the potential of getting burned than the potential of having shit rub my face. Nah, so, man. I'm taking so, the fire. I've, I've been burned I'm a well, bad at one point. Fuck that. I, I'm a, I weld, so I, I'm, I'm used to it. Mm. I can, see, I can, deal, the, I can deal with that. The dude not gonna kill you. I mean, like, yeah, hepatitis, I just... oh, hepatitis B is not. I don't think that'd be fun to have. Mm. Good point. Good point. <laughs> You're probably like not gonna get it. That's not gonna transmit it. You get shit like because a... midbrains. You just you you would take a large viral load for that to work, and you would more than likely just digest it, or just if you spit it out, it's fine. Boy. We put it in her hair. You got experience with this? Fisher, you got experience with this? Uh, I know a lot about uh, that stuff. That's reassuring. I wonder if they released him that night. This son right here in this picture. Think about that. He was released immediately. There's no way they held on to this game. And why not? You think they caught him? Dude. No, actually, He's probably I mean, out there. Yeah. Isn't the guard? Isn't the national guard supposedly like on patrol or some shit? I think only certain areas. I don't think they're out there. They can't they're do out anything. The whole, they're, out the, they're out the whole subway yeah. system. Mm. Yeah. What can what can they really do though? Except stand there. And, Nothing. Yeah. yeah and watch the show. Need Paul yeah. Pierce for this. 
Well, look, I just hope that the cops don't hurt this guy when they catch him because I can't take another right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A right may, uh, a right may get people off their ass. What do you mean, like? What do you mean? I mean, how long? I guess like how long? How much more of this shit can be? T- can can people take? No, 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 no. I'm saying if the cops hurt this brother, yeah, the alarm is gonna ring. So not the kind so of what? They, they, at, the, at this point, would it really, would it make a difference? Yeah, I mean, the last riot we had was a pain in the ass. I don't know how it was where you're at, Masi, but over here, they tore it. Oh, up. well, he get, he get shot where I'm at. You know, that's but I guess that's a difference. I don't know, man. <laughs> Thank God I'm not in New York anymore. I'm so thankful. I think I thank God every day for that. I'm, not, I'm no longer in New York City. The fact that the fact that I'm in Jersey is not that bad, but it it trickles down where there are people stealing, so that they walk yeah. out with stuff. So is it is there a lot of illegals where you're at? A lot of Venezuelan. Oh yeah, heavy. Um, heavy because what happens is. The Venezuelans, they come. It, it's all types. The Venezuelans come from New York, and then they'll migrate to New Jersey. Right. And how are they behaving over there? Are they? For the most part, they've been okay so far. Just stealing here and there, I guess. Not stealing. Not them. Sun steal. Okay. Um, but so they're the, not doing much, huh? Nah, not in Jersey. I think Jersey is a little strict, but it's still liberal. Uh, um, I love fishermen because it's funny because I'm near a town, a juice crew town. So very liberal, especially uh, I don't know if he ever heard of Montclair. Oof, that's very juice crew. And, you know, fishermen will hate hate that town. <laughs> so <laughs> I know he would. I think Aaron Rodgers live out there, so in Montclair. So it's a lot of Jews crew over there. Mm. Yeah, fuck Salute Aaron to Rodgers. Deluxe Two Four Seven, aka Cal Ripken, aka the real MVP, coming through once again. Salute to Eric S. Op Nation Hall of Famer, coming through once again. See Sigmund Fraud. That's that's those are the people that donate. Every, <laughs> every line, every line. Sigmund fraud. Um, <laughs> let's see, man. Uh, wow. Wait, Sunday. so shit or fire? I you never said shit or fire. What do you? Right. What do you shit think? or fire, man? That's a tough one, man. I, it's I, a tough one. You know what, man? That's a tough one because it's like it, it, the fact that it's tough <laughs> tells you how bad yeah. shit. Because you know, <laughs> you know, you, you're supposed to just say shit because fire can like <laughs> kill you. Fire yeah, can cool, kill man. you, but like it's like yo, it's still tough, man. It's a toss up, man. Oh no, man. Cause yeah, I don't want shit smeared on me, man. No way. Yeah, it's disrespectful at the end of the yeah. day. Think about how close someone has to be to you to smear shit on you. Yeah, think that, 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 that's, that's close <laughs> in your face. Like like my daughter and my son, shit. Even that, because I changed their <laughs> diapers, right? I changed their diapers. I don't want that, like, baby shit, which is pure and shit, yeah, smeared on rough. me. Grown man shit. Oh. That's amazing. Oh, some bum? Yeah. The finest it's, shit. it's like, it's, t- it's a tough one, man. It's a tough one, man. <laughs> Up there, can you imagine standing down here and seeing some guy with uh, fire in his hands and then him throwing it at you? Uh, luckily, the camera is right here behind. They should have checked his bag. Man. <laughs> he was a, a candidate for getting your yeah. bag checked. Yeah, I wonder if he checks for the fire and shit. <laughs> I wonder if he checks for the fair. Yeah, man. Did they? Did they? Did, yeah, man. Y'all slipping. Y'all should have checked his bag, man. He was. He was a prime candidate, man. Fuck, man. But they did, like I showed you, they only checked 
in that video, they wasn't checking black people bags, man. Right up there. Can you imagine standing down here and seeing some guy with uh, fire in his hands and then him throwing it at you? Uh, luckily, the cameras right here behind me captured it happen. Let's take a look at that video again, showing that man uh, basically walking up to the turnstiles with the two canisters of fire in his hand. Um, and police say after that video stops, he actually threw it at a group of people who were standing on the other side Police say that was unprovoked. That those give me the wow. race of the people he threw it at. Tigers. <laughs> I'm gonna go with tigers. Gliders. He Gliders. wouldn't have throw that shit at no sun men. Some sun no. men was standing there with their pants sagging and shit, and their yeah. motherfucking <laughs> um, yeah. their Gucci <laughs> coats on and their Prada belts and shit. Right. Ain't no fucking way in the world this guy right. would have fucking threw that shit at them. He would have. Listen, man, he would have, listen, he would have seen them and he would have been like, he'd have blew that shit out. And oh, damn, man, these cottage cans get on fire. <laughs> Facts, probably man. Some elderly, probably some elderly uh, on Brita. This guy, man. Oh, man. Look at that <laughs> guy. He, he thinks he's hot shit. Yeah, right. Facts. <laughs> he, man, this look guy at that face, I this guy would have threw that shit on his mama before he would threw it on some stun men standing in a group. I promise you. I guarantee the victims weren't black. I guarantee you. Styles with the two canisters of fire in his hand. Um, and police say after that video stops, he actually threw it at a group of people who were standing on the other side. Police say that was unprovoked, that those people had not done anything to the man, but for some reason he targeted them. Uh, that, fortunately, though, no one was hurt or injured as a result of this. Uh, and again, that guy got away. Take a listen to what uh, riders here had to say when we showed him the video. It's crazy. You know, I don't even know what to say. You can't just do this to kill people like that. No, 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 no. It gets one random, that's it. He's an immigrant too, man. Is anybody from fucking America around here? And you could see what the man was wearing there pretty clearly. Uh, but police, in addition, gave this description of him wearing a gray hooded sweatshirt um, underneath a black jacket, black pants, and black sandals. This happened on February. It's black skin. Um, underneath a black jacket, black pants, and black sandals. This happened on February 5th. It's unclear uh, why we're just hearing about it now. Live in Chelsea, Checky Beckford, News 4, New York. Signatures.